morning, good morning, good morning everyone. We have, we have a forum. forum. Today, Today is, is Wednesday, Wednesday uh, June, uh, June 10th, 10th 2020, and the time, time is 9, 19 a.m. And I now call, now call with me the Dallas City Council of Order. order. We're going to start, We're going to start with, our with our invocation, followed by our Pledge of Allegiance. And, and at this time, the chair recognizes uh, Deputy, uh, Deputy Mayor Pro Tem Adam McHugh to introduce our guest who's here to give us our invocation today. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, it is with great honor that I get to introduce Dr. Sharon Patterson, who's an innovator in this city and in our community. She has preached all across the United States and United Methodist pulpits um, and internationally as well. In the community, Dr. Patterson serves as a director on the board of Methodist Health Systems of Dallas and ensured that the lowest and least were cared for. Currently is Vice President of the Perkins School of Theology Executive Board and Adjunct Professor at Perkins School of Theology at Southern Methodist University and is Vice President of the Black Clergy of North Texas. Dr. Patterson is in her third term as the African American clergywoman to serve as trustee of Southern Methodist University and Vice President of the Black Clergy of North Texas. Dr. Patterson is a 13 year survivor of breast cancer. She turned her diagnosis into a Dallas wide health education event. In partnership with Methodist Health System, she created the Patterson Pledge that encouraged women to take responsibility of their health. She raised thousands of dollars to provide programs for low-income women by gathering other breast cancer survivors and building Habitat for Humanity homes. She holds degrees from Spelman College in Atlanta, Georgia, and Perkins School of Theology at Southern Methodist University in Dallas, Texas. Dr. Patterson and her husband, Robert, have been married 35 years and are the parents of two adult children. Uh, Dr. Patterson is, has been an amazing leader, both through our current crisis and in situations across our city. She's a great friend. She is pastor of the Hamilton Park United Methodist Church, who are truly serving as the hands and feet of Jesus through this time. And being the daughter of a police officer is uniquely situated to help our city through the current times. Dr. Patterson, we thank you for being here. Thank you for your leadership and everything you've been doing over the last few days, weeks, and years. Dr. Patterson. Morning to all. Let every head be bowed, every eye closed as we go to God in prayer. Holy God, merciful Savior, if ever we have needed you before, we need you now. For well, God, we are living in a time of reckoning. We are living in a time that shall be known as the George Perry Floyd era when a flawed man is changing a flawed nation. Everything will be remembered as a time before he died and a time after he died. For the knee to George Perry Floyd's neck awakened the world. His death is sweeping all of us, all of us, whether we want to go or not, into a corrective mode of operation where we shall right the wrongs of this nation from the top to the bottom. We're removing hate and replacing it with love. We're removing racism and replacing it with justice for all. And God, right now, we pray that you empower these decision makers to live out the leadership of the George Perry Floyd era. Allow them, God, to make bold changes in policing. Give them compassion for our persons living without shelter. Give them courage to move to help those who are needing affordable housing and needing a living wage. Give them power, oh God, to be the type of decision makers to live out leadership in the George Perry Floyd era. Boldness and power and compassion. And Lord, we also admit that we are facing not just two viruses, but, but not just one, but two viruses, God, because COVID-19 continues to cover our city. Lord, our, our Dallas County was ranked number five in the nation as a hotspot for COVID. So Lord, empower us as leaders to determine ways to help our citizens to live safely and bring the COVID rates down. 
And finally, God, I ask a special blessing over our leader, our mayor, Eric Johnson. God, I pray for each city council member, our city manager, and all of their staff. Give them divine wisdom, fortitude, fearlessness, and force from you to move this city ahead. And God, we ask all these things in your holy and righteous name. For God, we know that the road is rough and the going is tough and the hills are hard to climb. But we started out a long time ago. There is no doubt in our minds. We've decided to make you our choice. Amen. God bless. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Dr. Patterson. God bless. At this time, we'll have our Pledges of Allegiance. For those of us who are here, um, let's please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Thank you very much. You may be seated. At this time, the chair recognizes um, Chairman West for a brief announcement. Hey, Mr. Mayor, can you hear me? I've been having technical difficulties this morning. We can hear you. Good to see you. Very Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And first, I want to say uh, to my council, uh, fellow councilman, Chairman Thomas, I remember the seersucker suit today, so hopefully you did as well. Um, I want to thank the mayor for giving me an opportunity to, uh, to say, as, as we continue to examine how we can build a better Dallas, we are collaborating, we the city are collaborating with the Thanksgiving Foundation on an initiative at City Hall for people to leave notes pledging one way that they can help to end racial injustice and promote equality now. The Thanksgiving Foundation has created a banner to hang at City Hall. Mayor Johnson and members of City Council, along with city staff, are invited to sign it. The president and CEO of Thanksgiving Foundation, Kyle Ogden, uh, will also be on the line here in a few minutes uh, to say a few words during the open mic portion. I would also like to add that Mayor Johnson and members of City Council have been invited to each record a video clip with a message about the action they're going to take. It will be edited together and posted next week. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Absolutely. Thank you very much.